Hello, this is Spotter, and I'm one of the creators on iView. I make meshes, and this is the introduction to getting your system set up to have the software required for creating meshes for iView using SketchUp. So to start, uh, these links will be handed out or provided, uh, but just as an example, uh, here's a location where you can get the original Google SketchUp free 8.0.15158 uh, and you simply download it from this site. It's a direct download. There's no download helpers or anything like that. And the other location you need to go to is Neil 1471's website where he has the Apocalypse Survivors Mesh Out 0.4.33 and you can simply download it from there. I'm not going to go through the process of uh, showing you a download. I am going to go directly to my downloads directory where I've already got this software available. So to begin with, uh, the first thing I'm going to install is the Google SketchUp. So again, double click to begin the installation. You may have to give approval for it to go forward. I'm installing on Windows 7 64-bit and you simply go through accept the license uh, standard location install and you let the installer do the rest of the work okay and the installer has completed so we can click finish you now will have a little icon in your uh, upper corner of your desktop if you have icons visible uh, the other place, of course, you'll find it is in your startup menu. And I'm going to pin this to the taskbar so it's available to me quickly. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extract the contents of the Mesh Out 4 package. Inside here, you'll find a README which gives you the instructions and how to install this and what all the files are and any other information. And basically what you need to do here is there's that meshout.rbs file. Now this file we need to install into the SketchUp application folder. Uh, so bring up your computer, your hard disk, now if you have a 32-bit operating system you will only have program files uh, in 64-bit we have program files which is 64-bit uh, applications and we have program files x86 so remember if you only 32-bit it's simply program files 64-bit uh, you need to go into x86 uh, locate the Google folder uh, locate the Google SketchUp 8 folder and then Basically, we need to locate plugins. At this point, I'm going to copy and paste. Uh, it says I need administration rights for this, so I'm going to say continue. And now I have the mesh out RBS file in here. The other files that are in here are some example files uh, that you can use for learning how to use mesh out. Uh, for the course I'll be doing, I'll be providing some files also that will uh, make things better for getting started. Close all these windows and the final step in this process is to check out SketchUp itself. It will start with a startup screen which I'm going to turn off. I'll say start using SketchUp. Uh, it will want me to select the template. Uh, so I'm going to, for the time being, select simple template feet and inches. In the course we will learn how to set a template that is related to IMView. Okay, uh, it's going to tell me that there's a newer version of SketchUp. That's fine. I don't want the newer version. I want to make sure things are going to continue working. Uh, I've got a OpenGL properly things that need to be reset to values. That's fine. Say OK. Uh, they have the instructor here. That's all good. This is the basic uh, SketchUp environment. This all looks good. Uh, I can just do a quick test. There we go. I drew a square or a plane. And the big thing is I want to see that I have a mesh out plug in here, which includes all of the tools for exporting meshes to IMView. And 
it's just a quick test I'll have to save this model now this model that I'm saving is really not correctly set up but I'm doing this as a test just to make sure things are working I may even get an error and we simply do a export with all untextured say save and it worked okay so at this point your SketchUp is ready to go and you are ready to begin the course.